Hi guys, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, this anamorphic adapter from Sirui. Uh, I already did a review of their latest uh, anamorphic lenses, these are the 1.6x lenses and they kind of released uh, the latest, uh, basically two of these lenses in the set uh, along with this adapter. And I kind of talked about it again in my official review of these lenses so you guys can check that out, you can see some examples. Uh, but in this video I just want to specifically talk about this adapter and show you guys uh, a lot more sort of tests that I've done not just with these lenses but with other lenses, with other anamorphic lenses, other spherical lenses and sort of side by side so you guys can kind of compare it for yourself and see really uh, is this adapter going to be I guess good in your kind of workflow or with the kind of lenses that you plan to use it with. So if you don't know anything about this adapter what is it? Well basically it's a uh, 1.25x anamorphic adapter meaning uh, it will take your image and it will actually uh, capture you could say 1.25 times more of a horizontal field of view and then squeeze it into your lens so whatever it, focal length you're using it this with will obviously change that by horizontally at least it will widen that lens by 1.25x when you take up the back cover, uh, back cover by the way, and the front cover are 82 millimeters. When you get this, you'll get it actually with uh, some step down rings, but you can obviously just use your own step down rings. Now, this is designed to be 82 millimeters because that fits perfectly with these Siri lenses that they released. Now, of course, this adapter is not meant to be just with these lenses. Like I said, you can use them with pretty much any lens. Uh, there's been already a lot of anamorphic adapters in the market. I would say this is one of the better ones in terms of just the design because it just fits really well. You can tighten it really well on your lens. Uh, and then once you've tightened it, uh, you have this little red dot up here, which allows you to then easily basically adjust the angle of your, of your adapter so that you're making sure that you're getting uh, perfect, so for example, uh, lens flares, like everything's horizontally and nothing has that jello or sort of distorted effect. Now whenever I was attaching this to certain lenses that have like the sort of marker uh, on top of the lens and that's actually a great way of lining up this red dot because pretty much once you line it with that you know you're perfectly uh, straight or basically level with the, the center of that lens and then that means that you won't get any weird distortions. And previously with a lot of these adapters that was a big issue is that you would either you would have to thread it under but then sometimes you couldn't thread it all the way because you wanted to have it at a specific angle or you had to use some other attachment techniques using for example rails and things like that well this makes it like i said very easy it's also just a well-built uh, adapter as in it's you know it's solidly built it's not overly heavy has clean optics uh, and it also has a 82 millimeter thread on the front and you can put other let's say diopters or filters uh, on top of this uh, adapter. Now another big advantage of this uh, anamorphic adapter versus pretty much anything else that's been out there previously is that uh, this allows you to single focus uh, with your lens, meaning once you attach it on, on the front of your lens, you will set your taking lens to infinity focus and then you just leave it that way. You do not touch the focusing ring on your uh, lens and then you just instead actually focus with this adapter and it has a nice uh, geared focus ring up here. Now the focusing ring actually has uh, markings up here for the basically the distance and it's marked in meters. One thing that I know some of you might not like right away is that when you're focusing with this you will notice that the front element does move a little bit in and out. It doesn't rotate, which is good, meaning if you put your, let's say, circular polarizers, like variable polarizer filters and things like that, will not uh, affect that. But like I said, it's, it does travel a little bit. So if you're working, let's say, with a matte box or some other accessories here in the front, that might sometimes create issues. Now I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of tests that I shot with this. It's going to be long and might be a little bit boring, but you can skip, obviously, to the parts that you're more interested in. But uh, those tests will essentially show you uh, how this adapter performs and, and also how it changes various lenses. So I've tested it out with, uh, with obviously these lenses, but this time, unlike in my official review of these lenses, I've paired the, these lenses and this adapter uh, with a camera that actually is able to shoot in four by three, like sort of proper aspect ratio. And that's because this uh, adapter, once it's paired with the 1.6x anamorphic lenses from Sirui, it essentially now converts it into a two times anamorphic lens or two times squeeze aspect ratio. Uh, and when you're shooting with that kind of a squeeze aspect ratio on a 16 by 9 image sensor, then 
uh, you're really just going to end up with a way way too wide of a field of view not to mention that then especially on like the wider uh, lenses for example like the 35 millimeter you're seeing uh, the actual edges of this uh, adapter and that's because again it wasn't meant to be used on that aspect ratio so when you're shooting on a camera that shoots in 4x3 or sort of proper uh, anamorphic sort of aspect ratio it's more of a square aspect ratio that means that it's not shooting as wide so it's not capturing those edges but it captures more uh, vertically now the camera that i used for these tests is the zcam e2f6 and i put on there uh, the viltrax uh, e-mount adapter and that's just because i have e-mount lenses up here uh, and so that camera is able to shoot again in 4x3 aspect ratio uh, so that's why this kind of pairs it up perfectly or any basically a true two times anamorphic lens will be able to work with that camera i also tested out this adapter with spherical lenses uh, and those are various spherical lenses that have similar focal lengths like these uh, lenses that we have up here so again you can kind of compare it with that and you can kind of see how it changes the characteristics of those lenses and those were various spherical lenses uh, it kind of almost doesn't matter because it's going to work very similarly i'm just kind of doing these tests so that you can, you can kind of see how it changes the different focal lengths on different lenses now i also did some tests of this adapter with the previous CRE uh, anamorphic lenses which are the 1.33x uh, anamorphic lenses and I had those in the micro four thirds version. So on, on those tests, I've paired this with that lens on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera. So when you guys are watching these tests, definitely pay attention to how, for example, things like the, the bokeh gets changed, uh, whether this adapter adds extra lens flares and things like that, uh, because I do have a light, well, various lights in the background, one light actually shining straight into the, the camera. Uh, also pay attention to how it actually distorts the original lenses so for example how the edges behave now again with this adapter uh, those are the kind of things i would say you want to really pay attention to now in some cases especially when i was using this with certain anamorphic lenses uh, you're going to really see that being able to keep everything in focus while the lens is wide open is really difficult uh, and that's simply because you know like trying to nail the infinity focus on some of those lenses and then being able to focus with this is just again it's a lot more difficult so in some shots when you do see that even the main subject of the shot is a little bit out of focus well that was a mistake on my part all right so next let me show you guys the actual tests that i've shot like i said they're very long and not the most exciting so definitely if you're looking for a particular combination of this adapter and let's say this type of lens uh, then just use the, the time code to jump to specific time in the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it and find this uh, informational.
Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to head on over to my website, tomantosfilms.com, to check out the full review of these other lenses, plus all these other anamorphic lenses or cameras that I've reviewed, gadgets, uh, and also a lot of the tutorials that I post under. Uh, and once again, my name is Tom, and uh, my website is tomantosfilms.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.